If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, August 9th, 2013. I'm Tiffany Elias. In today's show, we go back to last week where Jeff Cummings caught up with Katinka Hoshu in Barcelona, Spain to talk about her outstanding performances at the World Championships. Take a look now. I'm here with probably one of the most exhausted swimmers at the World Championships, Katinka Hosu, won two gold medals and a bronze. Katinka, it's good to see you. Thank you. So here we are, it's the, the, the day after the last day, uh, less than 24 hours after swimming two 400 IMs in a day. I gotta tell you, I was probably not the only person who thought that they would have to pull you out of the water after that final. On a scale of one to 10, how did that feel? Or is 10 too low? Uh, well, I, I thought myself that someone would have to pull me out of the water, so, you know, I watched uh, the video of it when I touched the wall and what happened after, and, you know, it, it seemed like forever, I didn't do anything, I was just like hanging off the lane line. Uh, in my head, it went by really quick, I was, I don't know, at first I touched the wall and I was just happy that it's over. Uh, and then, you know, I turn around and then I look at the time and I try to figure out what's going on. It just takes some time, you know, after after a really tough race to, to figure out exactly what happened and, you know, start seeing. And <laughs> and then I look up to Shane and, you know, he's really happy and he's like, smile. I'm like, I'm trying, but my face is not moving or anything. <laughs> right, right. But that was an amazing swim, 4.30. Uh, for people who may not know, when you won the world title in 2009, you also went 430 in a full body uh, tech suit so you have to be happy to be going that fast this year yeah I'm, I'm really happy with the time you know I was only one tenth of my European record so I got really close um, yeah but definitely I felt like I had to work for this one a little more than how much I had to work for for the other one in the high tech suit because you know it's much harder to swim without that uh, kind of suit so um, I'm really happy with this time and you know we are moving forward I I want to get better and improve on this time yeah moving forward in a big way the Olympics I would guess probably you would you would call a disappointment last year no medals you were in the running for a few of those events how did you uh, get yourself motivated to get ready for what would be a great World Cup and then a great world championships uh, you know Shane had a big uh, role in that because after the Olympics he was the one who basically pushed me back in the water and he told me to just focus on the World Cup and there's life after the Olympics and we knew that I have more in me than just that fourth place at the Olympics and you know the time also I think it could have been a little better and I trained so hard and I felt like I definitely didn't show at the Olympics how much I worked before. So that's why we started doing the World Cup and you know it was a great preparation even for, for these World Championships and it played out perfect and, and the whole preparation went really well and I, I work really hard this year as well and finally it's coming out. Well every swimmer's goal at any meet is to win. But did you expect two gold medals? Uh, honestly, when I, I was coming to Barcelona, I just really wanted to be on the podium, especially after being fourth at the Olympics and being so close to get on the podium. I, I told myself if I'm going to be on the podium, I will be happy. And I definitely was thinking more about times rather than places. You know, you can never control what others do. So I was trying to focus on my times and get better and get um, really good times. And I pretty much got really close to all my best times. I had, uh, actually I had a lot of best times, but all my best events, I'm, I'm right there at my European record, which were all with the suit. So. I can finally say that I'm as fast as I was in the suit, so it's pretty great. Yeah, not a lot of people, <laughs> even three years later, could say that. Yeah, so it's 
it's it's definitely a good feeling and finally we can forget about the suits. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what everybody kind of yeah. wants to do right now. Uh, Hungary did very well. I mean, your two gold medals, and then Daniel Gierta won the 200 breaststroke, uh, Laszlo Che in the 100 fly. Uh, just, just, re just give me an idea of how exciting it was to be on the Hungarian team this week. It's always exciting to be on the Hungarian team because we have such a small country, but we always do so well. And you know, swimming has a huge tradition in the country, and uh, you know, coming from uh, from a country where Christina Egersegi was always competing and you know she has five Olympic golds it's just uh, gives us a lot of uh, confidence and uh, we just try to get better and better and get higher on the medal count every time and uh, you know I, I understand that the you're going to be swimming through 2021 when the world championships <laughs> comes to Budapest I mean was that was that an easy decision to make I mean that's it's eight years from now yeah, I always say I I don't promise I definitely will be swimming, but if you ask me now, I feel like I for sure will be. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun swimming and, you know, I'm really motivated and I don't have a problem going to early morning practices. I, I actually really like it. So I, I say now, like, why wouldn't I be swimming? What else would I be doing? Because, you know, uh, I love it. I'm good at it and, and, you know, I enjoy life and and I definitely feel like I can be there. Well, you've got not only gold medals, but obviously everybody knows from the World Cup, a lot of money, you want some money here for your medals. Does, does being able to get money from these races kind of help motivate you and get you excited about swimming? You know, when, when you train that hard and you have these big goals, you don't really think about the money at all. It's you, you need a lot more motivation than just the money and just think about the money. Uh, uh, to get money afterwards is definitely a plus, uh, and it's you know it's great that I can I can have a life and just focus on swimming and I don't have to wor worry about my finances. That definitely helps a lot, and that's what it's uh, it's actually I'm really appreciative that you know we can go to a World Cup and 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 not worry about uh, getting a job or something like that. That we can just you know be professional swimmers and focus on swimming. Uh, going back to, to this week at the World Championships, your, your former coach at USC, Dave Saylor, was here. Did you have a chance to talk to him at all? Uh, yeah, he congratulated me, you know, and then he said, keep swimming fast. <laughs> and a lot of your Trojan teammates were doing very well. I mean, just I, from my count, I think it was like nine medals, not, not even including you. So you, you had to be happy to be watching a lot of those other swimmers do well. Yeah, I mean, you know, your former teammates, when you know how they train and how hard they train and see them do is always great. And the Trojan Swing Club is pretty international, so it's pretty funny to you know run into other teammates from you know Russia and like all over the place. So, uh, so as I said, we're we're talking to you the day after the World Championships. You are not taking any kind of a break. <laughs> You're going to the World Cups. I mean, is there any kind of break that you're going to be taking at all? Uh, well, Shane and me are getting married, so that's definitely going to be a little bit of a break, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully on the wedding day, I mean, I'm going to have a day off. Um, <laughs> but I think it's pretty fun that they put the two, uh, two uh, first two stops uh, right after uh, the World Championships. I think uh, maybe mentally it's a little bit tough for some swimmers, but I think it's it's gonna be great to see how fast we can go short course now. It will seem pretty short, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully it'll be a little easier. Yeah, well, and, and congratulations on the upcoming wedding. It's, what's the date? Thank August you. 22nd? I mean? Yes, yes. 22nd. So where are you getting married? Uh, so we decided that we want to have a beach wedding. So, so we decided we're gonna be in the Seychelles Islands. So, you know, Shane parents are coming from the U.S. and my family is going to be there from Hungary. So we're basically going to be meeting at the islands. Wow, that's <laughs> going to be fantastic. And don't want to forget about mentioning Shane, your, your fiance, manager, uh, right-hand man, coach. Shane, <laughs> coach, everything. Shane Tosa, you guys met at USC where he was a swimmer too with you. Uh, what's it been like to have him on this journey with you? You know, it's amazing because 
when I touch the wall, that's probably the first thing I do. I look at him and, you know, I know how I did if I just look at his face and, you know, he tells me everything and it's great to share it with someone that he exactly knows what I went through and how much hard work I put in and, you know, he was there with me the whole time and, and it's, you know, it's great to celebrate with someone who knows what it means. Yeah, and he's going to be there to celebrate with you for the rest of this, this swimming career. Yeah. And let's make it even more exciting that, um, you know, in a couple of weeks it's going to be official that, that the two of you will be a big, a, a nice little team together. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been a team and now it's officially we're definitely going to be. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah, he's right here right, right off camera. And, um, it's great that, to see you two uh, getting married, and we wish you all the best. Everybody at Swimming World wishes thank you all the you. best. Thank you. Well, thank you, Katina. I'll let you get to training. I know you've <laughs> got to get ready for those World Cups. It doesn't come easy. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks a lot. We hope Katinka enjoys her wedding and look forward to seeing her back in the water. And thanks again to Jeff Cummings for that interview. That's it for today's show. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend.